Hey you guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn yourselves into a woodland fairy. And I was inspired by this really awesome picture that I'm going to go ahead and link down below for you guys. And it looks like this. Look how pretty she is. Um, so yeah, let's, everything that I'm using, by the way, is going to be listed down below. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting off by painting my body with a shade of green. Since I am on a budget, I made this myself with some foundation and some green eyeshadow. Um, on the body, like always, like in my last one, which if you haven't seen, I'll link it down below for you guys, was Decaying Mermaid. It got patchy on the body, um, so I don't know. I just must not be used to doing this on the body because it gets patchy on my opposite dominant side, which is the left for me. And then I put it all over my face. I also went into the hairline with this tutorial today and also covered the ears and the eyes over the eyelids and the lips as well. <sighs> That was a mouthful. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight like a normal person, but with light green eyeshadow. I'm putting this underneath the eyes, on the nose, above the eyebrows, and the chin, and also above the lip, and also on my collarbone as well. And I just take a big fluffy brush to blend it all out, and I didn't do a super good job on that side blending it out, but I go back in and it gets blended better, so don't worry. You just wanna make sure that you're using shades of green. So I'm taking a brighter and lighter just a brighter, vibrant lime green eyeshadow for the blush. I just thought it was necessary, but you don't have to do this step at all. I poke myself in the eye too. And then I'm going to go ahead and contour as well. And I'm just taking a dark green eyeshadow and putting that everywhere that you would contour. Hollows of the cheeks, temples, and I also do it down the bridge of my nose and down my underneath my lip. Um, and then I also start to bring it down on my neck and things like that too. And I also use it on the collarbone as well. Um, but when you're doing this and you're using blues or greens or whatever you want to use, you want to make sure that you're using shades of blue or shades of green, whatever is going to correspond. Say you're using pink, use shades of pink and red in that case because it could be hard to find pinks or red or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So if you're doing red, do pink, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, just going back in and perfecting that contour just a little tiny bit. Um, and I'm taking that same dark green that I used for the contour into the crease and on the outer corner and lower lash line just to add some depth and dimension to the eyes. And I'm taking that same highlight shade and blending out the edges and applying it to the eyelids. There you go. Now I'm going in with a cream eyeshadow. This is actually a blue one, um, but you could use any color you wanted. If you had white, it would be awesome, but I didn't at the time. Or I, I do, but I didn't have enough. So I just ended up going with this because I don't use it a lot, and I thought it would work perfect um, and maybe give me some more depth and dimension that I didn't have before, and it did. So this worked really, really well, but if you had a green, that would be perfect. Um, and I'm just putting that all over. And then to set it, I'm going to take the same highlight shade I used and I'm going to go over some of the dots, not all, with this on my body and on my forehead, just like before. And again, this is out of frame, so I'm really sorry, but I'm new to filming these. Um, so yeah, and then I go in with a different color that's pretty much the same shade as my actual green skin tone right now, but it, the blue added some depth, which was great, and that's definitely what I needed. So I really, really liked that it happened, but it's still not blue, um, which is what I was afraid, because um, my boyfriend thought I was a mermaid when I showed him a picture when he was at work, but I'm totally not a mermaid, I am a fairy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take some black liquid with liner and line my eyes. I'm doing a bit of a wing today, like a more exaggerated, it's not super exaggerated, but it's a little bit more exaggerated than normal for me. Um, so yeah, I just do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and also fill in my eyebrows with that same blue cream eyeshadow. And I'm just going to go over it with a green eyeshadow. Um, and this one is specifically from Crush Cosmetics that I'm about to use. So I'm going to go ahead and link you guys down below to the review for it because they have really good stuff. This is awesome. For This tutorial was perfect, but I also love some of their other products or their other eyeshadow colors as well. I also use the same technique for the lips as well. I use that same blue paint pot. It is a paint pot um, cream eyeshadow and the green. But after doing it... I realized it was a little bit dull and didn't have enough dimension, so I'm going to add in a champagne kind of color to just add some more pop to it. I also bring that champagne color into the inner corners and on my eyelids and just blend it out with my finger. It's just super easy and just add it a little bit more if I didn't have enough. And I'm going to go ahead and take some gold glitter um, eyeliner and just kind of 
create some swirls on the body and on the sides of the face. And then I also go on with a coppery green liquid eyeliner as well to kind of go around the circles and add some more details to the body, but this is totally not necessary because it wasn't very noticeable. I also brought the green into the hair since from the picture she does have green hair. I just took the mixture that I used on my body and just applied it to my hair. I didn't do it all over just because for the purpose of this video, but I would definitely do that all over your hair if you are going to wear this out. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. So like I said, everything that I used in this tutorial is going to be listed down below for you guys. The Crush Cosmetics review is going to be linked, and so will the picture, or so will the link to where I found the picture at. So if you guys like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys later. Bye!